So what's going on guys, it is JM, it is Beatboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions and what I'm saying in any of the videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So Josh Taylor outclasses and dominates O'Hara Davis and stops him in 7 rounds to retain his Commonwealth Light Welterweight title and pick up the WBC Silver Light Welterweight title. And what can I say about this fight? Like, Josh Taylor was just a far superior fighter in nearly every department. Just a better balance, better defense, snappier punches, was a lot quicker than O'Hara Davis. O'Hara Davis came out very awkward, like he always does, that very wide, awkward stance. But he was just loading up on big right hands all night long, just looking to get that big one punch to hurt Josh Taylor. And he was catching Josh Taylor in there, but nothing was affecting Josh Taylor and when Josh Taylor was catching O'Hara Davis clean he was getting a reaction and he was stunning O'Hara Davis he dropped him in the third round like he hurt him with a body shot and just carried on and just dropped him in the third round like the last few seconds of the third round and then O'Hara Davis um, came back into it a little bit in the fifth round I gave O'Hara Davis that round even though he was stunned in the last 30 seconds or so of that round but just basically every round, Josh Taylor was just getting on top of him, landing the clean off, snappy off, more accurate shots. And he just looked the better fighter in there. And O'Hara Davis just went in there, just looking to load up and land that big power shot that just didn't come. And Josh Taylor was countering very well. And that was a shot that put O'Hara Davis down in the seventh round. Countered him with a great shot. O'Hara Davis um, fell to the canvas. Um, he just looked defeated when he was knocked down O'Hara Davis. He just looked like he just did not want any more. And he got back to his feet and then Josh Taylor jumped on top of him and O'Hara Davis just went, you know what, turned his back on him, just like, as if to say, you know what, I'm done. And then Josh Taylor carried on battering him and the referee, Howard Foster, stepped in and stopped the bout. So Josh Taylor proved that he was the better fighter. And hats off to the people who have been saying it. I picked O'Hara Davis to stop Josh Taylor in 10 rounds. I was wrong. I'm going to eat some crow now for saying that. But big up you guys for saying that Josh Taylor was the better fighter because he showed tonight that he was. And I knew Josh Taylor was a very good fighter anyway. I just thought that O'Hara Davis would land them power shots that would get him out of there later on in the fight. He'd wear him down, but that just didn't happen. Josh Taylor just looked very classy from the opening bell and just got the job done. Very, very classy performance by Josh Taylor in... Who knows what's going to happen now with O'Hara Davis? Will he come again? Like, you don't know with a character like O'Hara Davis because he's a very awkward character anyway. Who knows what's going on in his mind right now? But very good performance by Josh Taylor, upwards and onwards with his career. So, yeah, it is what it is. Comment below in the comment section. It's JM. It's